good morning students so last class we discussed about the so state model from the electrical circuits and also the um, uh, uh, different values of uh, state equations also we have derived now we go for the so diagonalization so last class we discussed about the transfer function from the state model also clearly now last last topic Diagonalization. What is diagonalization? Is nothing but we have to determine the sigma uh, m inverse a m. That is the uh, where m is the model matrix. So to determine the eigen values and eigen vectors such that we have to determine the model matrix and then so find out the diagonalization. For example, system matrix A equal to zero one zero 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 one. Minus six, minus eleven, minus six. For that, determine the diagonalization. So first of all, the characteristic equation of a system matrix is S I minus A equal to zero. So yeah, this is three by three matrix. That's why S I to one zero 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 one zero 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 one minus zero one zero 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 one minus six minus eleven minus this is the A matrix. Now. Multiply with S unit matrix that is S zero 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 S zero 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 S zero one zero 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 one minus six minus seven minus six. Now subtract this one S minus one zero zero S minus one. So six eleven S plus six to find out the Cauchy equation. I mean determinant. So S into S into S plus six plus. So S S into S into S plus six. Plus eleven, plus minus half minus that is plus plus one into plus one into six zero zero minus half so value is zero and the minus half minus six is nothing but plus six and last one is completely zero so multiply multiplying with all factors s cube plus six s square plus eleven s plus six now that may be equal to zero mod s i minus a equal to zero so that is equal to S cube plus six s square plus eleven s plus six equal to zero. Now s is equal to minus one, minus two, minus three. That is the eigen values. Eigen values are minus one, minus two, minus three. So for that eigen values, for that eigen values, to determine the eigen vectors, s one equal to minus one. So s one i minus a. Put s one value in the Cauchy equation. In place of s, put s one value minus one. That is minus one, minus one, zero, zero, minus one, minus one. Six eleven five to find the M one. So one column of model matrix M one that is C one one C one two C one three. What is meant by C one one is nothing but cofactor of the particular first row first column. So that is nothing but cofactor of first row first column. This is not, this one that is minus five minus half minus eleven that is plus eleven minus five plus eleven that is equal to six. Now cofactor of one two. First row, second column, this one. So this one is nothing but zero minus half minus six. That is plus six. So because of second one, one two minus one power i plus j. That's why put minus value. And last co factor of one three getting six. So common factor is six. That's why one minus one minus one. This is the first eigen vector. So second eigen vector with i s is s two equal to minus two. Put In place of s is minus two, so minus two minus one zero zero minus two minus one six eleven four. For that one also determine the eigen vector m two c one one c one two c one three cofactor of column one column two cofactor of column one row one cofactor of column one uh, row one column two cofactor of row one column three. So for for that. I want to determine the mark three minus six, twelve. So take common factor as three. That is one minus two four. This is the second eigen vector with the eigen value of s is equal to minus two. Now go for the eigen vector s three equal to minus three. So s three i minus a put in place of s put minus three in place of s in the Cauchy equation minus three minus one zero zero minus three minus one. Six eleven three. So for that, we have to determine the third eigen vector C one one C one two C one three. 
so c11 this one so minus 9 plus 11 that is equal to 2 and c12 first row second column this one so 0 minus of minus 6 plus 6 but before minus value is there that's why minus 6 and last one so 11 So 11 minus of minus 18 that is plus 18. So take a common factor as 1, 2, 1 minus 3, 9. Now the model matrix is the combination of so 3 item vectors m1, m2, m3. Therefore 1 minus 1, 1, 1 minus 2, 4, 1 minus 3, 9. To find out the inverse of this one with the, with the help of calculation calci so m n was equal to adjoint m by delta m that is equal to 3 2.5 point 0.5 minus 3 minus 4 minus 1 1 1.5 0 0.5 now to determine the diagonalization of the matrix is nothing but so to multiply the m inverse matrix a with m matrix m inverse a m so m inverse 3 2.5 0 0.5 minus 3 minus 4 minus 1 1 1 1.5 0 0.5 0 1 0 0 0 1 minus 6 minus 11 minus 6 and last m matrix is 1 1 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 1 4 9 so with the help of so calcium we have to, we have to multiply all these three matrices for getting the diagonalization matrix of given so system matrix so minus 1 0 0 0 minus 2 0 0 0 minus 3 so clearly so discuss about the diagonalization that is m inverse am the result is so diagonally the eigenvalues the eigenvalues of given system matrix minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 must be placed in a diagonally that is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so this is about diagonalization of a system matrix So now some definitions are remaining in this unit. So what is meant by state, state variable, state model, state equation and what are the advantages of state variable analysis now we are discussing. So what is meant by state is nothing but the state of a dynamic system is represented in so it is a minimal set of state variables that may describe the complete behavior of the system. So when t greater than t0, so that is nothing but a, system, a state is nothing but if any system they give the internal behavior that is internal structure of the uh, particular system at any time at any time t equal to t0. So suppose suppose t equal suppose so this is this is x x of t equal to so x1 x2 x3 like this. So we discuss, we, we derive the, the state, state value or status of the state value at any time. So it may be zero time or infinite time or in between, in between that time. So at any time it gives the internal behavior, internal behavior of the system. So another one is state variable. State variables are the involved in to determining the status of the system. Generally, suppose let us consider x1 of t, x2 of t, x3 of t up to and so on, x1, xn of t are the state variables. So, to represent the behavior of the system, so like, so these are the, so x1 of t, x2 of t, x3 of t and so on, xn of t are the state variables for a given system. Generally, state variables are is nothing but energy storage elements in electrical system that is uh, number of storage elements equal to number uh, number of state variables whereas in differential equation the highest order gives the number of state variables in uh, whereas in transfer function highest power of s will gives the state variables and next one is state vector
state vector is nothing but it will describe the status of the system with the help of state variables suppose x of t is the state vector now under that one x1 of t x2 of t and, and so on xn of t is the state variables the representation of the state vector so like this so x of t equal to x1 of t x2 of t and xn of t generally the state vector is nothing but it will gives the relationship between the future input and also present input that is nothing but current status of the system and future status of the system so on last next one is state equation the equation that involves the involves to determine the behavior of the system so state equation must be represented as x bar equal to ax plus bu and y is equal to cx plus du so this one x bar equal to ax plus du is the state equation and y is equal to cx plus du is the output equation so these two equations together called as state model of a system so the combination of state equation and output equation is nothing but state model of a given system where a is the system matrix a is the system matrix b is the input matrix c is the output matrix and d is the direct transmission matrix whereas x of t is the state vector u of t is the input vector and and last one is last definition that is state model state model of a system so already discussed state model is nothing but so it is a graphical representation state diagram is nothing but graphical representation so of a state model so what is meant by state model is nothing but combination of these two equations so state equation and output equation combination of state equation and output equation is nothing but state model of a system state model must be represented in so uh, two ways that is so diagrammatically represented that is with the help of signal flow graph or it may be a the, um, black diagram also reduction also on what are the advantages of state variable analysis first of all the state variable analysis will be consider initial conditions whereas in transfer function we cannot consider initial conditions but coming to the state variable analysis we can consider all initial conditions now state variable analysis is applicable to non linear systems as well as time varying systems whereas in transfer function only applicable to linear and time invariant system but coming to the state variable analysis it is applicable to non linear as well as time varying applications now where now another advantage of state variable analysis is it is applicable to memo system that is multi input multi output systems but whereas in uh, transfer function does not applicable to memo systems another advantage of transfer uh, state variable analysis is, is it is applicable to this analysis is applicable to, in, involves this analysis involves the matrix algebra as well as vector algebra so this these two algebras must be very useful in digital computerization that is nothing but to develop the program with the help of piece wise so these these two techniques very very useful whereas in transfer function so this type of techniques not utilized that is vector algebra and and, and also so matrix algebra is not utilized so this is about the so advantage of state variable analysis so thank you please subscribe this video to see this video please subscribe the dbs talks